you have a powerful top quality camera set up and are prepared to start shooting your next video. But every time it is uncomfortable to reach the camera to set it up correctly, walk behind, stretch your body, it's easier to quit making the video. A remote doesn't solve the problem and the smartphone app disconnects all the time. In less than 10 minutes you will learn how to control the camera using the Stream Deck while sitting comfortably at your desk. I did it and I will show you how. Yes, your camera can be controlled with the Stream Deck. But be careful, besides setting up the shortcuts and connecting everything, you need to understand the trick that will make this functional or not. I tested it on Mac and Windows and it works the same. Step number 1. Connect the Stream Deck to your PC and install the Stream Deck software. If you already have a Stream Deck, maybe you know how it works, but I will show you how to set it up if you don't. Next, to control the camera using the Stream Deck, you first need to install the software Imaging Edge from Sony. This is free, the official Sony software, I will add a link in the description to download it. Next, connect your camera to the PC using a USB-C data cable. This is important, use a data cable, a good high-speed cable. Some cheap cables are only for charging, don't get tricked by this aspect. After the camera is connected, go to the menu, menu number 3, at PC Remote function and turn it on, and select USB at the PC Remote control method. When the camera is connected correctly, you will see this PC sign on the screen. After the camera is connected, start the Imaging Edge software and press Start on the Remote tab. A window will appear. Here you will see the camera if it's connected properly. Double click on the camera and the remote window will appear. You will see a big preview of the image. I always close it because it's laggy, the quality is bad and if the camera provides a video feed, the chances of overheating increase dramatically. Click on this live button to close it. I like to monitor the shot using the HDMI output using the Elgato Camlink 4K, not the USB. If you want to learn more about monitoring the shooting, I have a dedicated video and I will add the link in the description. Also, I power the camera with a dummy battery. I never charge it via USB-C, but if you have the original battery inside, it will also charge it, but the camera will overheat faster. You can try and see how it works. And right now, after everything is connected, you can control the camera using the Imaging Edge software. What we need to do now is to find out the shortcuts of this software and set them to the Stream Deck. But pay attention because even if you set the shortcuts on the Stream Deck, it will not work if you don't do it correctly. Let's set a few shortcuts we need to control the camera first. The first one, start stop the recording. I keep the mouse on the button and don't move it for a while to find out the name of the function. This button is called Video. I go to the menu and search for it. On Mac I have the menu up here and on Windows they will be small here. It's in the menu Tools. And on the right side I can see the shortcut. On Mac it's Ctrl plus R. I go now to my Stream Deck controlling software to set the shortcut. It doesn't matter what model you have, I have the Stream Deck XL, you can do it with any model, the difference is the number of buttons and the layout. And of course, if you are interested in my setup and all the gear that I use to shoot my videos, I will add affiliate links in the description, if you click on my links you're not going to pay anything extra, but I will earn a small commission and this will help me get sponsors away from this channel and create more valuable content for you. Thank you. On the right side, at the tab System, I select and drag to the button I want the hotkey function. Next, in the hotkey tab, I click on it and press the shortcut, Command plus R on the keyboard. I like to delete the title and if you want, you can personalize the icon on the button. Design your own and choose the file, create one on the Elgato platform or choose from a library. I designed my own buttons in Photoshop, you can use anything to create the icon in any software such as Canva or wherever you want. For the rec button, I have this big red button. And now, if I press it, it doesn't do anything. I told you way to understand how it works. Let's set the shortcuts first and then work with the camera. Next, I want to set the shortcuts to increase and decrease the ISO. I searched in the menu for ISO and found it in the camera settings menu. These are the shortcuts to increase and decrease the ISO, I to increase it and Shift plus I to decrease it. I go again in the Stream Deck software, 
add another hotkey and set the first shortcut for increasing the ISO. I delete the name and choose the icon. Next, I add under the plus hotkey another one, click to assign it and press the shift plus I, the shortcut to increase the ISO. Delete the name and choose the icon I want. Let's set two more shortcuts for this example. Increase and decrease the shutter speed. The shortcuts are S to increase and Shift plus S to decrease it. Add another hotkey, set it and set the icon. Add another one to decrease it and repeat the procedure. And if you find this video useful until now, don't forget to press the like button and maybe consider subscribing. Thank you. Next, I want to increase and decrease the aperture, the F number. The shortcuts are C to increase it and Shift plus C to decrease it. Go to the Stream Deck software and repeat everything with the specific shortcuts. You have a few settings with shortcuts and you can control more if you need to with the mouse. For me, it's enough to start and stop the recording and to set the ISO to reach the right exposure. Rarely do I change something else, but if you want to, you can adjust many settings. But if I press these buttons, it's not working. Why? This is a small inconvenience, but way smaller than walking behind the camera all the time. When you want to control the camera, you need to click to select the Imaging Edge Remote window and it will work. If you are using Delgato software to control the prompter, for example, if you select the software, it will not work or it will affect Delgato prompter if that software has the same shortcut. You press I to increase the ISO, but if another software does another thing when you press I, the Stream Deck does not know which software to affect, so it will work if you select the Imaging Edge remote window. I can prepare my script for example, set everything and before start recording, I select the remote window, set the camera, press record, then go back to the prompter software and control it. When I finish, I click on the remote window and stop the recording. It works, but don't forget to select the remote window when you want to control the camera. Do I use this method? Rarely, because I always have the camera close to me and I can reach the buttons easily. I can control it without seeing the buttons because I'm so used to do it. But if you have the camera farther away, this method is great. Connect the camera using a USB-C data cable, connect the Stream Deck, install the Imaging Edge software, set the shortcuts and don't forget to select the remote window when you want to control the camera. But you can control the camera easily using the Stream Deck and still have a hard job obtaining bad looking videos if you don't use your shooting space properly. I will give you a dedicated video where I show you how to choose the best spot to shoot your videos, how to position and set your lights and many more tricks to transform a normal room into a great shooting space. Watch this video and transform your creation process right now.